Hello everyone, I am Duke James. This is Fez. Our regency is over. Our ruler was a 403, so he's now a 423. So that's half. He's average. Unfortunately, we have to either begin a new alignment or continue with the current leadership. So negative 15 relations with the aristocrats, metropolitan spiritualists, and chiefs, which would be pretty bad for the aristocrats because the aristocrats hate us. Negative 57. But I don't want to begin a new alignment because I don't have stability. I'm actually going to go down to negative two. It is dropping like a rock. All I did was uh, conquer some territory and do a reform, plus 64%. Overextension is 72%, international influence 30%, current stability 12 There's a lot from current stability, which I'm not actually sure. You'd think if my current stability was negative, that would be something that would give stability. I guess I'm going to have to do this. Because I don't want to lose more stability. And then I'll go ahead and do a strategic marriage, because I'm forced to, so that'll bump up nobility and get them back to negative 57. These guys are avoiding strong enemy? No, don't do that. Alright, we are strict, which gives discipline 2%, so that's nice. There's 12 heavies in this group of 17 transports. Seems like a little much. I've annexed Egba. So I now have their territories. I could go ahead and fight Igbo. The stability situation is a little bit concerning. Because I'm going to want to do a couple more reforms in the future, at least. Our manpower actually went up 2,000, so that was interesting. But I still want to do service, expand service infrastructure. I need to get my stability back to 1 to do that, so that's going to take a while. The expanding is definitely taking a toll, though. With this overextension. Plus 0.145 monthly autonomy change, 1.4 yearly corruption, 73% stability increase interval. I'm building troops over here to get to... 15,000. 30,000 total, two 15k stacks, and then I'll be able to suppress two islands, two separate island groups, or two separate areas with two stacks. I'm gonna have these guys accept and change their AI. Can I do that? Apparently not. Building a fort here, actually. I'll just leave those troops there. The fort should make them go to it. At least that is the idea. Alright, one is over here, because I had a rebel group rise up here. I thought this area was done with. 
Here's the unrest map. Okay, looks like there's a little bit of unrest in Bone. This area seems to be fine. There's a little bit of unrest in that island, but everywhere else is good. There's a little bit of unrest over there. There's some unrest up here. I own one province here now from an expedition. But it appears to be fine. Oh yeah, and then this area is just horrible actually. So I'll have them cover this area and they can cover over here. The unrest actually looks decent over here. These provinces should be converted slowly because of the light ships over here. I moved some other light ships up here to start converting these provinces. I might actually move those over here to the Philippines because that's 23% and I own more provinces. I own pretty much all of the provinces over here for the most part. And there's practically no Sunni provinces over there. So I work on that. The other thing is the... My capital... I've been trying to build the capital here for a while, so it's slowly building. So there's no capital at all in my capital, and the capital... If you have a capital in your capital, it gives global CE reduction. The first one gives 8%, which is a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build... I'm going to try to get that to Parallelism 10 to build... To get that faster. It should take one year to get a capital now. So I'm actually going to build the capital in Fez. The capital in my capital to rank 4 for 3,000 ducats. And uh, set parallelism to 10. That should take 7 years. 7 years for rank 4 capital. In my capital. And then I will go ahead and do fund infrastructure capital. I'll just set it to 50% for now. Actually, I don't know if that's... I think that resets everything in there. So I'm going to set everything in my capital. Because my capital is pretty important to 50%. I'll set irrigation to 25%. Courthouse doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Garrison to 25%. My autonomy actually isn't that bad. It's actually decreasing in Africa. And it's even decreasing all the way over here now. It's 95% in Zenji Bar. It's actually increasing a little bit now. But yeah, I'm surprised it's actually increasing all the way over here. And that just goes directly from here to the capital. In terms of CE, it doesn't jump. So there's no point really anymore in having a chain. Because it will just directly go. You can see the runner origin is 359, which is... Okay, no, it's actually going to Suez first. Interesting. Huh. I checked that out before. It was actually going directly from the capital. So now it's switched to Suez. That's weird. Anyway, there's a couple provinces over here that I stated in Cord. In this region. These four provinces... Should all produce spices. If this one produces spices, then they all do. This one does not produce spices. But these three should produce spices. There's spices. Spices and... Just making sure. Spices, yeah. Okay, so those three produce spices. I'll ignore this island. So I'm going to build irrigation in these three provinces. There's no irrigation right now. I'll build it to rank 2 for now. Prepare to construct. It'll be 10 units every year. 1,500 ducats. 
That's good. What are the sizes? Farmland. Could do some investment there. Could do some investment there. And yeah, I could do investment in all those provinces. So I'm going to go ahead and do... I'm just going to do 100 ducats in all those provinces. Because I'm not going to own that property anyway, so it'll be a net, net zero effect. The supply limit in that province is not high enough to support those troops, so I'll move them over. That's unfortunate. This isn't really a great point to place ships. Because it's two sea tiles away from here. This is, I think this is a good spot, because that has easy access to the Philippines, and these two, these three provinces, which are trouble, and then there's these provinces. It's not really central here, but I should be able to suppress rebels in that area. Pick those guys up. There's really no... There's no good... Supply limit provinces on this side. So I think I'll have to keep them over here then. Let's see. Right, those guys are sieging. Let's actually only put half over there. Decline the Mamluks. Let's have these guys actually go protect trade in the F South China Sea. Right, these guys just refuse to do anything. Send an expedition to... There's just no good spots to send expeditions over here because everybody is on par with tech. The tech is 33 now, so... Jainagar is 28. Orissa is 26, so it is actually... Their tech is dropping in relation to mine. So that is good. 25, 26. Vietnam and China are just not having problems. Same with Japan. Well, I don't have a node over here, so I mentioned that a couple episodes. I'm going to send it back to the, uh, back to Arabia. Try to grab one over here. Alright, there's that fort over there. That should actually... So I'm not going to get that for free, because the fort was built after it was taken. Let's go ahead and start annexing Kilwa. Take a royal marriage with them. We actually lost this province. I 
I don't really care about North America, in case anybody's wondering why I'm not colonizing up here. I just don't... I don't care. Also... That's bullshit. That is crap. So, Galicia took a province from Mexico. So, essentially... Yeah, that's horrible. I don't think they should do it like that. I think it should be based off of the Overlord's tech. Otherwise, I'm going to be losing these provinces up and down for the rest of the campaign. I'm going to have to be taking those provinces back. And that is just straight annoying. Where's the third rebel group that rose up? Nope, just two. Okay. Can I get to that province before? I thought there was a fort over here. build a fort. That's not going to go well. Actually, it went better than I thought it would. I think I'm going to uh, conquer anything for a little bit. So I can get these uh, provinces that I do have to cool down, and I can get some stability because our stability is negative two, and it's still decreasing. So uh, I will be back. Hello, everyone. Alright, so I went ahead and I got rid of Enforced Religious Law, which gives one national unrest and tolerance of heretics and heathens negative one for three missionary strength, and I replaced that with Minor State Reforms, which gives Stability Increase Interval negative 15% and Yearly Centralization negative 0 0.05. So that'll remove one national unrest and in provinces that are not my religion one unrest as well, and then it should make my stability not drop as much. I got that to one by doing the tax, no taxes, and providing grain, so hopefully that helps. It's going to make these conversions slower, but most of these provinces can be converted by trade nodes, so I feel like it's not that huge of a deal. It actually cuts, it doubles their uh, time. Because it used to be 16 months, but now these provinces go up to 33 months. But I feel like that's something I need to do, because the rebels are just, I think, too much. What's going on in the world? Looks like Novgorod's actually huge. Novgorod's thriving. They took over Finland and half of Sweden. I think that's pretty much... That's the world, really. Because, I mean... I'm conquering most of Africa, so... There's not much there. Austria and the Turkish Empire and, and the Commonwealth. I think this is like a little... Tripart... 
thing. They're keeping each other from expanding. And the Turkish Empire does not want to expand this way, which is nice. Genoa conquered some of that area. Yeah, I still have rebels, though. There's a lot of rebels still around. So I'm going to still focus on getting rid of those, so uh, I will be back again. Alright, the other thing I'm going to do is there's also this diplomatic policy, which is diplomatic relations plus one. I'm going to dump that, and instead I'm going to grab... Mediate internal disputes, which does the same thing. Stability increase interval, negative fifteen percent monthly. Actually, this gives monthly autonomy change, which is fine because, really, for me, monthly uh, autonomy doesn't really matter because I make most of my money from properties. So autonomy, for the most part, at least in terms of money, doesn't really matter because my income is three thousand five hundred thirty-four ducats. My revenue is five thousand. More than half of that is from property. So that's where I make my money from. Because I do taxes, I cut taxes. Even if I got my autonomy down, I wouldn't collect anything from taxes. Like you can see in this province, I'm not collecting any taxes whatsoever. I could micromanage that, but I just let the AI do it. I think even with the parallelism in Fez being 10, there must not be enough labor or goods because it's not really building faster. It did build the irrigation, I think it was irrigation in Tlemcen and a little bit from amenities, so now hopefully that uh, speeds up the amenities. I'm going to do a census. An industry census. So food production, we produce 5,226. We demand 5,576. I believe we actually cut that down by about 100. So I think that's actually pretty good. So demand is rocketed up, but we're producing... I assume we increased our production as well to cut that deficit. So our food production has outpaced our demand by a lot, I'm thinking. Salt is good by 100. Fiber sucks, but uh, something I really can't do much about. Fuel, we cut that. Raw material, not great. Exotic goods, we make 352. Demand 436, so we're cutting that. Cutting that down. And I'm building irrigation over here in all these provinces. It's parallelism 1, so it's taken a while. I think some certain provinces, I'll look at these provinces, and if there's. If the farmlands are near capacity, then I'll probably upgrade them to rank 4 and do parallelism 10, otherwise I'll just leave them for the most part. So we should start producing more exotic goods once these irrigation over here gets built. Consumer goods are good actually, negative 20. Military negative 50. Naval is good. Industrial is good. Luxury is good. And knowledge is good. Population. Our tenant size is 21,820 with a natural change of 63,000. Almost 2 million fighting age men. Residents about 6 million. Natural change, negative 12,000. They're dying in Fez and Tlemcen. I think that's, that's a third, if not half, of those. Because I think most of the provinces I own are fine with that. There might be some provinces here in these like small coastal 
areas that uh, have negative resident size growth. Yeah, like this province, they're dying as well. I'm going to check those out. Probably build up amenities and harborages. And the Noblesburgers clergy. Who cares about those guys? Our total population is 178 million. And then wealth, tenant wealth, tenant income is actually greater than spending now. Nomads, who cares about those guys? Residents are doing pretty good. Nobles are actually doing pretty fine. Burgers are now negative. Yeah, their luxury goods aren't... Uh, I think for most of my pops, the luxury goods are not being met. But I think that's the same for everybody, really. But uh, I'm producing more exotic goods, so I should be cutting that deficit down. And uh, I'm annexing Kilwa. I have no relation slots now that I got rid of that one slot, but we should be doing pretty good with our stability. Hopefully it reverses course because that's negative 30%. So that helps cut some of this uh, effect from our overextension. Cuts that in half. And then I'm losing centralization, which I'm actually fine with since I don't make money from my people. That would actually, if I reduce this, that would actually increase or decrease core creation cost. Decrease liberty, desire, and subjects. Decrease national unrest. Would decrease tech cost morale of armies and global trade, but uh, for a reduction in national unrest, I'm okay with that. So that should be going down, which should improve our national unrest a little bit. Yeah, I'll probably go a little bit, look at some of my provinces, and then uh, get into a position to attack again. It's 1622. I want to attack Igbo, try to take this river here, these four provinces, and then Oyo owns this province, and then I would need to... There's a river province here. It terminates here, and it terminates here. So it goes from here to here. That's a river. And then I would build pathing here, and then a uh, harborage here, and then I would need that to continue the river, which goes all the way around here. Which is why I wanted to do oil, but then I did Kilwa, because I think I should do something over here and then go back to oil. This is going to take a while to annex them. It would take us 26 years if we did it right now. And that's because our Diplo rep is 1.68, so that's... I think I'll try to get that up. I can take something from the nobles. Leveraging the nobility would give me an additional 1.5, so that would double that. So that would make that a little bit quicker. Should do it at 6 instead of 4. So I should cut that in half by, or cut it by 33%. But yeah, for now I'm going to end this part and uh, pick it up in the next part. So thank you for watching and goodbye.